Welcome to my channel, Perfect Form Forever. It's me, Oliver. And what I have for you today is an unboxing of Legendary Collectibles Zoro Sacrifice. So as you can see, I did a magnificent job blurring out my address, which is on top of that box. So we're just gonna watch me struggle to get this box open. So one thing about this box, they really reinforce the corners. They put tape all over the place. So it takes me a while to get in there. So you're gonna see me struggle. You can see a great blur. And uh, that's about it really. So um, I ordered this from, if you're familiar with the statue collecting uh, groups uh, from, FNC. I've dealt with them before. I bought from them before. So I knew this was going to be in great hands sending it to me. And I believe it was about $66 coming to me. All right. So as you can see, I'm still struggling. So what was the tough part about this box is that the corners, right, right under the corners, the reinforcement was there. So I had to figure out how to just jerry rig it and just pull it off. So at one point as you can see right now i said you know what i don't care how the box is i just want to get this thing apart so as you can see i put some muscle in it and i just rip it open and i'll do so on the other side too again magnificent job on my part for the blurring up oh, and there it goes all right as you can see there's no art box for this i thought there was going to be an art box usually this um statue studio have art boxes but Whatever, I'm not even that concerned with it. As you can see, you can see the reinforcements on each edge. So I'm trying to figure out how the heck am I gonna open the rest of the flaps. So again, just, as you can see, I'm trying to get my fingers under there so I can just rip it open. Yeah, lucky the sound's not on because I'm kind of frustrated. <laughs> so again, just, yep, here it goes. Just, ripping it apart, trying to get the box cutter to do as much as damage to the box as possible so I could just get this open. So on one corner, I just kind of popped it right off right here. And I said, you know what? Let's just go for it. So I'll get all my fingers under it, get the box cutter, try to get as much tape around it and just pop it off. As you can see, I finally, finally figured it out. Get that off there. All right, again, using my science. Say, okay, where I'm gonna cut. All right, cut along the box. Get my strong finger under there and just pop it open. There we go. As you can see, no art box, just taped up. Again, I don't mind, it's not a huge statue, so I don't plan on keeping this box. But I am gonna keep the black foam though. And if I need to get another box, I'll just buy another one. Oh, as you can see, the blur's back. So I'm going to put it upside down so I could get everything out finally. It comes out smooth. All right, now we're in the, the nitty gritty of it. So I flip it back over. As you can see, it's taped up crossways. So I'm going to just slice it and get, to, get into this unboxing. All right, so this piece... Uh, this statue doesn't have a lot of pieces and it was nicely tucked away in this foam box we'll call it and let's see what we have here this is the main body the body only comes in two pieces the body and the head so the body was nicely wrapped and uh tucked in there so no breaks on the body I can see that's Zoro's body, nice, bloody. I was gonna put it on my desk, but you know what? As a true unboxer, I have to put it where I found it. So I'll put it right back in there. And you can see there's a bunch of compartments in there. So I just kind of figure out what is what. This piece is a, a rock piece, which I didn't understand. Like the base could have just came in one piece. Uh, this is the, the authentic, authenticity card. And I got uh, 37 out of, I believe, 60. So it wasn't a big run of this a particular piece. I put that back in the little baggie. All right, this next piece, this is the, I guess, the second big piece that goes onto the base. 
this goes, I'm not sure, I guess it's behind the base, is uh, when Kuma, if you're filming One Piece, when Kuma gave him uh, all of Luffy's pain, this is how it looked like when he first sampled it. And all the pain going through his body. So that's uh, represented in the statue also. So that's Tuckley. I just put that nice in there. It was deep in there too. All right. Then I put it away. As you can see, I missed some pieces, but I'll get back to that. All right. The bottom of the set is the base. So this is the base, I believe. Uh length and width wise is about 12 inches all around because it's a circle base and i show you yep that's the top of it the bottom again 37 out of 60 got the jolly roger on there and uh what's next to it is a i guess it's a, i guess this uh base represents the hole we'll call it that uh zoro was in when he was taking luffy's pain this is the uh Nameplate, very small, almost unnoticeable. But yeah, the uh, the statue takes place when he's in the in the pit after he's taken all of Luffy's pain, and this represents the, I guess the brick wall <laughs> with Kuma's paw print in it. All right, so that's about it for that piece. And now I go back to the top piece, the top half of it, and uh, reveal the, this right here. I'm not even sure what it was. So I didn't feel like showing it to the camera. It was super small, and I'm not sure what it was. So I just put it back. I ended up keeping it in the box. And the last piece here is Zoro's bloody, bloody face. A little peek there. Pretty good scope. I liked it. Represents the moment. Now we're getting to... Putting the statue together. Don't mind my Funko Pops. You got Naruto, Minuto, Min Minuto, I think his name is. Sasuke, Kakashi, Goku, and Law. <laughs> this is random. Those are my extras, so I just keep the keep it there on my desk. Alright, so we have the base and we have the wall part. So one thing about this uh statue, I'm not sure what the studio had entailed what the front was, because the Plate goes right there, which you can see it from right here. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to display it this way or the other way, as you'll see. So now we're getting to Zoro taking that pain. I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I put this in here? I thought it was going to face outward, but as you can see, and I mathed it up, it goes the other way around. So that's pretty much it for that. Now we're going to turn it around and we're going to put in the star of the show. So again, I'm assuming this is the front. How I'm displaying it is Zoro looking just like this. There's one peg in there. There's no magnet on the other foot. So you can see I'm rocking the feet. See how much play we have? Not much. So we have him there. Next piece I put on is the I have a little little rock piece and I'm trying to figure out, okay, where does this go and how does it go? So I'm like, okay, I didn't want to take Zoro back out. So I'm like, okay, let me just fit it through his legs. I'll figure it out. As it, it snaps right in, it was a magnet. Like I said, I, I'm not sure why they didn't put it in there in the first place. And I knock on, pop on Zoro's head. As you can see, my perfect centering in this frame. But the statue's finished. That's it. That's all the pieces that's in it. Now I'm just trying to figure out, okay, what I'm going to do now. The card. <laughs> Let's put out the card there. I might display it with the card. I'm not sure how. I might just stick it on the bottom. But yeah, the uh, brightness is through the roof, so you can't really see his face. So that's my bad. I'll get it next time. All right, as you can see, when I blocked the sun, it's better. So I, I zoomed out so you can see the whole statue. So the statue is about 14 and a half inches. And I don't have a spinner doodle so i just spun it myself as you can see the nameplate is here and i'm not sure if i'm supposed to display it this way 
or the other way around, but I'm going to just flip it over and keep it this way. So Zora's facing outward. So I'm just doing my best to spin it around. You can see all my arm I'm right back in the center. All right. So thanks for watching. If you got this far, subscribe and I'll catch you later. Peace.